Hello, Scoreholio organizers. This is Ben with Scoreholio. I'm going to go over our new cool bracket court assignment feature, which allows you to control a bracket a lot more than you used to be. So here we go. I got a singles tournament here, all uh, single players. We're going to do a single elimination. I'm first going to click that create bracket button. And you know what? I'm going to make the first round best two out of three. So I'm going to enable that. If you're a pro organizer, you can do best two out of three, best five, of seven, best of five or best of seven. I'm going to do best of three in the first round. And I'm going to go ahead and create that bracket. Now let's say that uh, somebody walked in late or, you know, I just looked at the bracket and realized that the seating was wrong. I can always click this delete bracket button and delete the bracket. Come in here and if I need to, I can always add somebody else. I like a nice clean 16 person bracket. So we're going to go with that. And I'm not going to do best two out of three actually. I just want to do regular. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate that bracket without best two out of three. And now here we go. Our new tab is right up here. It's a bracket court assignment. You can actually click it and see everybody that's on the courts. You can click the edit button and go ahead and add a, add a score and submit scores like you typically would uh, from a bracket. You know, if I'm on the bracket, I can just go ahead and click a score and put it on the bracket and put it on. And if I want to move to kiosk mode, I can always click this button here. Go to kiosk mode and go ahead and click scoreboard. And I can score games from here. Oh, there's nobody on 3D. I can go ahead and do court 4. And I can jump this up to 21. And submit this way if I want to through kiosk. And so it's all about the same. This is where the magic happens. So let's say the Bella here is uh, has to leave. And she can't come back for another 20 minutes. So I need to pause her game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. You can see the match queue. And as match queues, uh, people start coming up here and getting filled up. You can click on this little button here and say place team on a timeout. What's going to happen is that is going to make it so that Bella does not go on a court. So what I uh, can also do is I can also pause court. So let's say that I want to pause court, court one. Let's pause court one. So uh, we're going to go ahead and score some of these. Let's get uh, this one, 21, submit scores. And you know what? I've been calling Bryce and John out, but they're not coming. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on a timeout. I can click timeout and move them. They're going to go ahead and move back to the uh, queue. And as you can see that they're on pause. I'm going to score ahead, go ahead and score some of these. And you'll see that they're going to go into the queue. And if we get a couple more of these, there you go. So see? how that game became available and it put it on court two. It skipped court one because I was on pause. Now let's say that uh, Bryce and John finally walked in and they're like, hey, why aren't we playing? And I, you know what, they're our best players. I want to put them on a live stream court. I'm going to go ahead and click on them and I can assign them to any available court that's available. So I'm going to move them to court one and assign that game to court one. But you know what, actually Dan and Jeff are better players than Bryce and John. So you know what, I'm going to move them to court one and click that move button and it'll swap those two. So it just took them off of Bryce and John off of one and moved them to eight. And you know what? They're not here. So let's move them to a timeout. So I'm going to move them back to the queue. And from the bracket, we can always click on something and we can score it like we normally would. And if let's say that I just did that and you know what? Bryce didn't win it. John won it. I'm going to click it, click that swap scores button. And I'm going to swap it and it'll move John forward instead. Remember, that is how we swap scores on a bracket. We do not go to the game log and click on it. That's not how you swap a score. You want to remain on the bracket. So that's our new cool court bracket court assignment. I went through a couple of other things kind of quickly. Hopefully it helped you out with some of the other questions you may have. My name is Ben with Scoreholio. It's easy peasy.